Welcome everybody to Sonic News with me, Bugsy. And with me, I'm Sakamari. And also with me, last but not least, Harima. Alright guys, we have some breaking news. It's only a little news. And then there's news about the comic book and certain other Sonic fan projects. Not mine, no, not mine, because it's nowhere near complete or done. But, you know, at least it's there. Anyways, so, guys, I've we found out that there is going to be a... Other than Sonic Generations, there's going to be a new Sonic game that's a Wii exclusive to Sonic. Okay, I want to I want to say I want to say this now. Please, no more Sonic and anything like Sonic goes to the Wild West. I mean, Sonic and the Secret Rings and Sonic and the Black Knight was like the just it was good. I mean, I don't think we need Sonic in any more freaking time periods of time because if it goes Wild West, I'm get I'm just gonna be like ah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. With the Sonic Storybook franchise. Me. Me too. I don't want to see Sonic in any more freaking time periods. I mean. You know. Secret Rings and uh, Black Knights. It was enough. It was enough for me. Me too. Um. But guys. Uh. What if. What if. And. And. It could. It could be wrong. It could, it could be wrong, but what if, guys, for like, for like, if, okay, just humor me on this, what if RG Comics actually make a, they make a Sonic game, but it's gonna be on the Wii, um, I don't think that's, I don't think that's possible, but I don't think it's impossible either. It's like it could happen, and then again, it can happen. That's all. That's all I have to say about it. Um, you know, you know what I have to say about it. Um, 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 um. I mean, yeah, maybe, you're, maybe you're eh, probably right. Maybe you're probably right, Bugs. But you know, then again, it could happen. Yeah, but like I said, it could happen and it could, could not happen. And they like to say that Archie is based, I mean, that Sonic the Dark Brotherhood is based off of Archie comic. Yeah, I, yeah, like in my little news video, I said that there were some similarities to it. But really, if it's really, an, if it was a really an Archie, you know, based off the Archie comic, where was Sally? Where was Rhoda? Where was Bunny? Where was Tails? Well, Tails was there. And Amy was there, and mostly everybody else, but none, none of the people from the comic book, so how can they say it's based off of, you know, Archie's stuff, and the only people that you actually saw that you haven't seen for a long time were the SWAT bots. The SWAT bots, people! And they, and you know, they never make an appearance into a game that we know of. But basically, I think, you know, Eggman's new design and some of the later games are designs for the swap bots. Personally, that's me. Um, what else, what else, guys? Um, what else can I say right now? Uh, and we all kind of, we all kind of hate, um, Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games. Oh, dude, of course we do. Well, I like two when I haven't played two when I still have one, but I don't think we need another one. I, I think the two that we, the two that they made was good enough. Yeah, I really think so, too. I mean, really, I mean, do we really want another freaking Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games, or do we want an adventure game that has the two of them in it. Yeah, we want, yeah, I would want that. Trust me, I would want that too. But I don't know, but I guess you, 
I guess Nintendo, you know, Nintendo and Sega don't want to do that. They don't want their they don't want their mascots mashed together in one little action adventure game because it's okay if they touch. <laughs> you know, you know how you like like think of it like this, guys. Like, say you have like peas and mashed potatoes on your like plate. It's like. Nintendo doesn't want their peas and mashed potatoes to touch, so they kind of. But it's okay to like mix them together every once in a while. But they can't like touch. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, me too. But it would be cool. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I already said in the last bit of Sonic news. Um, what else? What else? What else was there? Um, huh, I can't think of anything. Um, okay, okay. Now, this is just a message from all of us here at Sonic News. Um, well, this is a little bit about the comic book and a little bit about one of these fan made projects that me that me and Ansakamara had seen. But first about the comic book. Um so Genesis arrived a few weeks ago. It was um I read it. Me and Ansakamara read it. It's it's a good it's a good it's a good read. They're doing a rehashing it's like a rehashing, a retelling of the story, like in the kind of and kind of like the game realm of Sonic and not the uh, comic book realm with like how they fit in and stuff but you know to me it was it was it was good but it just uh, somehow it just irks me a little bit and I don't know why but you know everything else everything else was really good and I kinda know why, Bugsy. Because, you know, maybe it's because you. Maybe it's because of the whole Sally thing. You're probably still tripping out about that. Maybe. Maybe. I may be still tripping out about that. Who knows? But, um. Uh, there's that. And, um. There is. There's, um. There's a. There's a dude. A YouTuber by the name of Flip Yosuke. I hope I'm saying his name right. He's doing a he's doing a 20th anniversary of Sonic, like he did with the like the other anniversary of it. If you watch the thing, if you watch his video, his other video on the the you know the 50 year thing of Sonic. Um, he'll it was like a little thing of how Robotnik met Sonic and blah blah blah. So pretty much there was that, but this one actually this the new like little anniversary video he's making is pretty much a story within the Fleetway comic of Sonic, Sonic the comic, where Sonic gets pushed into you know chaos energy, and you know he was talking to Parker like. You know, as the flow of the street, you Porky says, you know, it's it's all it's all good, but I feel like I let let you guys down and blah blah blah. So Porky goes like, "How's Amy?" And Sonic goes like, uh, "Don't talk about her, man. She's really driving me up the wall." So then, um, you know, one of the little sentient robots that um Porker has, you know, was like a true door alert, a true door alert, and Sonic. You know, Parker kind of accidentally pushed Sonic, pushes Sonic into the freaking vat or thing of chaos energy that was under the floating islands, or something like that. And then he turned into Fleetway Sonic. Now Fleetway Sonic. Other than I read like Sonic the Comic Online, it was my first time actually hearing his vo- voice. I know how twisty he actually. See what Sonic actually is, but it was, you know, the whoever they vo- got to voice the uh, Fleetway version of Super Sonic is 
dead on, man. It's dead on. You know? So, you know. So basically, I think uh, the plot around that is it's going to involve Super Sonic being back and trying to kill Amy, I guess. Because he was like, who was I thinking of? He was like, in like a kind of demonic voice, like, who was I thinking about just now? He was like, he was like, who was I thinking about just now? And then uh, he thought of Amy, and he left. And Porker was kind of had that uh, horrifying look on his face. I mean, if you saw Fleetway Sonic, Fleetway Super Sonic, you'd probably be, you'd probably be scared too. I mean, seriously, that is some terrifying crap. Um. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. One more little bitty thing. Uh, I said in one video that I did before I started doing Sonic News that the Sonic fan film won't be done. Won't be um. Won't be done. Well, the Sonic fan film that you know A. LeBron's working on it won't be done until well, it won't be shown until next year. Because they cancel GDC. So, yeah. Well, and pretty much for me, my thing's halted for a, for a minute until I can get like. Until I can get like animator after animator and writer after writer and voice actor after voice actor, you know? So, um, pretty much, I'm, um. You know, pretty much, you know little spot there, but it's gonna be cool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, um, in a few, in a few days, people, I'm gonna give you like, um, I'm gonna tell you about locations and some of the stuff, and some new things, some new things to Sonic Freedom Fighters that you guys have never seen in Sadiam, but probably seen in other things, okay, um, you done, Bugsy? We can probably end this. Probably end this in a cool way. This is I'm Sakamaru. This is Harima. And this is Bugsy. Signing off. <laughs>